You know, the holidays are all about bringing people together. Today's guests bring two of your favorite holiday treats together. With us, we have Ryan Spruhan uh, from the Elms Hotel and Spa, and also Executive Chef Phillips, uh, Philip James is here as well. And tell us, uh, Ryan, what we're making. What are we doing? So today we're going to do a little twist on, uh, on a French classic. We're doing an eggnog creme brulee. Uh, All right. Perfect for the holidays, and, and we want you to know that you can make it at home as well. So, Chef, go ahead and jump in there and, and get started. And why, why choose the bourbon? Why bourbon? Uh, Why so not bourbon? Is that the better Bourbon question? is all American, right? <laughs> uh, eggnog traditionally comes with rum, um, but we really feel like it sings, sings with eggnog, the bourbon does. It's the smoky, you know, and, and it's very comforting to a lot of people, oh, which sure. eggnog is as well. So. Yeah, that looks beautiful all, so far, so good. This is the kind of thing that pe the creme brulee part of this, mm -hmm. people get worried about the, the uh, custard coming together correctly, having that all work. How do you make sure that that's correct? So, so there's two steps. Basically, what we'll do right now is... Um, Chef has got all of our liquid ingredients together, right. and we're bringing that up to temperature. And in the meantime, he's going to get the egg yolks and the, and the sugar uh, whipped up and ready to be cooked. Beautiful. Um, and so once we do that, we'll get this hot, and he'll have his egg yolks here. And, and once they're ready, basically what we're looking for is a pale yellow color. Mm -hmm. And we'll take the hot liquid, and while he's whisking, I'll pour it into it. Oh, really? Okay. That basically keeps the eggs from getting scared, as an old chef <laughs> used to tell me. Uh, <laughs> And then we cook it in a water bath. So we're really just trying to protect the eggs from curdling or You're breaking. You're being very you kind to the eggs. Yes, yes. You don't yes, want to so scare the them. Goal, they get a little right? bath. It's all and pretty it, good. And it creates a magical thing. Like nothing is like custard. Everybody loves ice cream. <laughs> sure. Everybody loves, you know, every kind of custard pudding. There's still a torch a, involved in here somewhere? There is a torch involved, you know, and that's what we use in the industry. And, and we know it's not a common household tool. <laughs> so uh, we've also What if you don't have a torch? Torch has gone out, right. So um, broiler. Broiler works perfectly. Oh, you really? put it on a high broiler for 30 seconds. Just make sure you pay attention. And once you start getting a little bit of brown color, you know it's done. So. That's very good. So he's continuing to work. This is continuing to get uh, hotter and hotter. And the Elms continues to be a great place to go for yeah, the holidays. Tell us about it. that. So uh, holidays are here, right? We, right. Uh, we have our New Year's gala that we do every year. And this is, uh, you know, it's a party. There's, there's live entertainment in every room. Uh, we've got a big blowout buffet to bring in the new year, and we also right. have a nice four-course meal in our dining room. Um, and then everybody that stays with us as part of this package uh, gets a grand brunch the next morning. How wonderful. So. What fun. Are you about where you need to be? Yep. Yes, sir. And so basically, we'll take this hot liquid here. Right. And while he is continuing to stir, we pour this in. Look at that. Oh, it smells great. Yep. Wow, look at it. And so we're good there. Beautiful. And then the next step will be to take some of that and we'll put it into the ramekin. So any kind of dish will work. This is our little bath here. Yeah, well this is the dish we'll cook it in. And this, okay. this recipe makes about 10, 10 of these at four ounces. That's beautiful. Yep. And so the, the last step is we'll, uh, we'll pour a little bit of water up mm -hmm. the sides. All and right. that protects the, uh, the steam that kind of cooks around it while it's cooking. Helps protect the surface and helps get the eggs from uh, from being too hot. This looks great. Now, is that a finished product there in the corner? That is a finished product. And basically, you'll cook this in your oven for 300 degrees for 30 to 45 minutes. And then it comes out like that? Yep. When it comes out, then we, we like to use raw sugar. So we basically take a little bit of sugar in the raw. And our handy-dandy torch. But there you again, go. This you is the part everybody's waiting for is, <laughs> right? is the torch part of it. So and these are these are a little easier to get in a store nowadays, and they use just your standard butane you'd find in any camping, right? Any camping store. Look at that. And this is how we do it in the restaurant. This is how the industry's always done it. Um, but again, well, a man, broiler why, why works perfectly that? fine. Why do you think, because this is special and fun to watch, but why do you think that? Why do we? Yeah, why do they use the Why the do we torch? use that? Because it's quick, <laughs> right? Well, we've got diners out there, especially at dessert. They've had a great meal. The last thing we want them doing is waiting for, for a sweet ending. Well, that looks fun. And it, it looks delicious. It's always delicious. There's always something great at the Elms for these recipes and a lot more information on the Elms Hotel and Spa. We'll have that coming up. We'll post a link on kclive.tv later today. Thank you both. That was fun. It's our pleasure. Thank and, you. And uh, happy holidays happy at the Elms. Happy holidays.